Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you everything you need to do to beat the first game in the plot line in the plot line of the second game as well. So first, I'm not going to go over any basic things. So you need to find all the secret caches, do some secret mischiefs, and use the secret uh, free money hotline, which I made a video on. Then you're going to go to the duck in the RV park, talk to him. He's going to tell you to find his hat. All you need to do to find his hat is simply go turn this guy's radio a little bit, steal the hat, and bring it back to him. This will give you a free map piece the next thing you need to do is after the cutscene plays you're going to get a free piece of map from the duck this is really useful and like i said i'm not going to go over any like small details like this usually but this is a piece of map so the next thing you're going to do is feed bear a piece of fish then he will go and distract the bears and you can get your piece of map pretty easily then after that you're going to want to go to the racetrack and get your license because you're going to need a car in the future but you need a license to race then you're going to go back home and fish this talking fish out, and then you're going to go in the cave. Now the cave, you get the TNT, and you blow up a little hole, and then you find another piece of map. The fish will come back to later. Then you're going to go canoeing across the lake, and there's a maze on the other side. Go right, and then you'll find the map piece. Then you're going to want to head to the ski slopes, where you're going to race this dude and win. You'll get another map piece that way as well. Then you can race the guy using your license, get the map piece there. Then you're going to go to the golf course, get the $300 golf club, way too overpriced, race, um, sorry, compete in the golf tournament, win that, and then you're already at the place where you need to put the fish in the water. So you're going to put the fish in the lake, little pond, I guess. He's going to give you a soggy piece of map, but that is going to conclude all the map pieces you need. You're going to open the treasure, and it's going to give you a ton of cash, but you're not going to keep that for yourself, obviously. You're going to give it to your ranger friend, who will use it to save the park, and this leads us into the next plot line, because after you dance and then sleep, you're going to go into town and have to fight an evil corporation. So, let's go to part two. Part two is you wake up and the raccoon will tell you that he saw or heard something that was really shady. So this dude wants to use an illegal plan to stop everybody at the park. And you have to steal his plans. Bear comes up with this idea in about two seconds and I'm surprised raccoon didn't come up with it earlier. You're gonna need to get a suit and tie, the most expensive one, get a bank card, and then you're going to create a bank account and then you can apply for the job and he'll basically just give it to you right away no matter what you say. Then you can start working at the corporate office and work your way up. I'm not going to go through all these tiny details, but that's basically all the things you need to know about the first two plot lines in Sneaky Sasquatch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.